Okay, why is the poster there? Okay, well, we're gonna do what we're gonna do today, right? I'm gonna do Irene Kara. Uh, okay, but the, okay. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How's everybody today? We are on live chat now. What day is it? It is the 21st. Good morning, good morning, friends. We are, um, we are with you today, barely, but we are with you today. Okay. We are all right. Good morning. We are late today, but we are good. We have lots of friends today saying good morning. How are we? We have a Nixia. Good morning. Hi, Nixia. Hello. How's it going, everybody? Let me do this. Oh, Lula's here. Good morning, my sweet friends, and happy Monday. Happy Monday Hello. to you. It is one of those Mondays, isn't it? All right. Yes, it is. We had to go pick up our son's car. Yes. And so we were, we were a little late today. We so are a little. Apologies. Everything okay? It looks fine. I don't know what's going on with that one, but it looks fine. We are, um, it says test.vmix. That's fine. Okay. And apparently something called bullet train is playing. Yeah. Can you guys hear the music? Can you guys hear music? It should be the soundtrack um, of the soundtrack of Bullet Train. Um, Ryan says, "Good morning, Irene Kara. Interesting choice. Well, we're on I today. I was in excess was the first group that I thought of, but uh -huh. um, I wanted to make sure that the poster mm -hmm. showed the diversity of the '80s, and right. uh, so Irene Kara was a good choice, right?" Okay, so um, Emma's here and says afternoon, um, and she can hear the audio. Um, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Is it too loud? Is it just right? Yes, I think I got it, it just right. Um, hello from Florida. We kind of want it to be in the background so you guys can Death hear some music, here. but it's not overpowering. Um, let's see. Can you name your favorite brushes? Right now, my favorite brushes are the Utrecht. Uh, brushes. You're cute. Um, let's see. I'm a young artist and you inspire me. That's Landon. I am. Um, um, Thank you, Landon. I know you had a bunny named Muffin. I have a bunny named Porkchop. Oh my god, that's uh, so funny. That's worm on a string. That's funny. I have a doctor's appointment. Yeah, you guys, if you gotta go, you do not have to stay and yeah. we, we appreciate we you. We respect you. We love you. We yeah. thank you for even, even being here. Tea of the day. I am on my third cup of the Herod's, um, whatever it is, Knight's Bridge blend. I can only just hear it over the talking, but I'm on speakers, so I can't have them too high. Got it, okay. That's fine. We don't want it to be too much, but we want it yeah. to be at least audible, you know? Do you have any quills for your ink? No, Scott doesn't use quills. All right, here we go. fountain pens or anything like that. Um, can you do more of the Beatles? I'm 11 and they're my favorite band. Well, there was only four of them. <laughs> so. Did you ever publish the book you made? Oh, the Dreamland Chronicles? Yes. No, uh, no, no. He, it, they're asking both of us. What what book are you talking about? Because everything we've done so far has been published. Scott's book, The Dreamland Chronicles, was published. Our book, Teddy Bear Dreams, was published. Animal Crackers was published. Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything. Um, let's see. Hmm. I'm on my first cup of Folgers Red Bucket Day Blend. Ryan, you're funny. Um, AB from YouTube says, I'm the one who made the comment on Insta for the portrait I made you. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. Well, good evening if it's night. Tea of the day reminded me to make some tea for my throat. Oh, good. I'm glad. What do you like to draw? Hair. Yeah, good morning to all of our mods. Thanks, Red, you're awesome. Um, let's see. The Knoxville Zoo is supposed to be really nice. Somebody's driving up from Alabama to New York. Um, let's see. It's a multiple caffeine source kind of day. <laughs> I hear you, Amy. I hear you. It's as much as you can get. 
Is it okay to do fan art for you? Yes, Donkey, it is okay to do that. Yeah, it would be wonderful. Um, um, Clara says, this is scratching my brain in just the right place. Kenny Loggins for K, please. He's my favorite. Yeah, I was thinking of Kenny Loggins. Oh, Gail's here. She says, yay for Irene. Also, tropical storms and earthquakes. Oh, my. Yeah. She says, we're okay, just saturated. We've heard it's been pretty bad out there, and there's a lot of flooding and everything. Um, Worm on a String says, Animal Crackers is my favorite movie. Oh, One of my favorite thank movies. thank you. Um, NYX. Tips for watercolor. Check the Art Hacks playlist. That should help you. What's been your most memorable painting or drawing or project in general? Would love to hear. Uh, probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. Mm -hmm. It was a, a fun endeavor. Making the movie was a fun endeavor. Yeah, it really was. Um, um, Thuy Wen says your videos are the best. Thank you. Um... I was about to go into a panic attack, but then I saw this. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mushroom Girl, we're happy to be here for you. Um, Animal Crackers is only on Netflix, correct. Um, should every painter in my art student portfolio be an original planned painting like Nighthawks or something of a similar level or are portraits and, part, portraits and figures acceptable? Um, it depends on the job. You got to remember your your portfolio is your job resume. So if you're going to be, if you're trying to get a, say a gallery show, then I would show only gallery pieces. If you're trying to get a job as an illustrator, I would show illustrations. You know, storyboards, you don't know, storyboard. You know, so that's really how you have to look at it. You don't look at it as just a, a mishmash of a bunch of different things. You want it to be very specific so that way whoever is looking at your portfolio can see uh, can see you as a client. They can see you as uh, someone that they can they can turn to to get the job done. And so they need to see that uh, in your portfolio. Now if you're someone like me who's had multiple careers, multiple jobs, then you'll see, you know, children's books, you'll see comic books, you'll see, you know, magazine covers and book covers and, and digital art and traditional art and watercolor because I've just done so many different things. But if I was to say, <clears throat> try to get a job for a gallery, I wouldn't be showing any of that stuff. I would work up a portfolio that's specifically stuff that I think would look good in a gallery. Greetings from Israel. Hello. A 4H pencil is a lighter pencil. Tiffany yeah. has pumpkin spice latte creamer in their coffee today. Not by choice. It's all they had, but that's okay. Bring on fall. There's a video on the difference between an H pencil and a mm -hmm. B pencil. Um, what tea would you suggest for people who hate tea? Like, have you had a tea so good that even people like me who think it's just bitter water would like it? <sighs> yes. I would recommend the Good Earth original tea it is a spiced tea i would put a little bit of either sugar or honey in it whichever one you like best to sweeten it i think that is a great place to start and i think it it's a cinnamony kind of tea it's a spicy kind of tea it's very good um why are you only doing half portraits and say good morning to ellen good morning ellen hi ellen we um, love you I, the reason why is is i bought these Arches watercolor uh, sketch, you know, like a watercolor pads, and I love the aspect ratio. I just, I love that that tall, um, it because it makes you think outside the box. You know, it's like what can I do? Like when I did the hair journal, it was basically a sketchbook that I was doing both the top and bottom page, and so I did, you know, like a head down here, and then the hair would kind of go up. But I thought, you know, it would be kind of fun to do half of a face because this is a good uh thing so it's really just Crack creating friends. yeah it's it's creating um a challenge for myself and and that's it okay guys um there's a lot of questions this morning 
Um, Z is probably going to be ZZ Top, but don't quote me because he'll change it a hundred times before then. It's not like I have a hundred options. Good evening to those of you in the Philippines. I know it's not morning, but you guys are from all over the world. So good morning, good evening, and good night. Um, Scott's least favorite thing to draw are hands and feet. Um, you, there's an alcohol marker playlist, but the Art Beak ones are the most reasonably priced, and all markers are pretty much around the same. Jane Eyre, Nilla Wafer, is a rather dark story. It's good, but it's a little dark. Um, you might want to start with something a little bit, if you're reading classics, you might want to start with something a little bit lighter. Um... Like there Donna's are, favorite. Well, there's some... I wouldn't recommend Pride and Prejudice to start. I would start with, like, um, Emma or Sense and Sensibility. Those are a little bit lighter. Um, but I wouldn't... Um, I don't know. Jane Eyre's a little bit heavy. If you haven't read the genre before, you might not enjoy it as much. Because it is a little dark. If you like dark, that's okay. Um, Ryan says, air quality is poor right now. We're having the worst um, wildfire season on record. My friend Penny up is in... Kelowna reporting on the devastation. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Uh, um, Scott always struggles with imposter sy syndrome with his art, as do a ton of people here. Does your son like his helmet? Oh, he loves it. He loves it. Thank you. Um, any tips from anatomy for from the both of you? Well, I appreciate male anatomy. <laughs> any tips, honey? Um, <laughs> There's a video on it. I would say, uh, you know, um, there are books for it. There are um, figure drawing classes and whatnot. But really, uh, I, I don't have like any hacks or anything like that. Um, really, for me, everything is about just practice, just doing it. Okay, Steph says the music is a little bit too loud. Okay, so, let me lower it just a little bit. Is this it here? Yeah, it's at 20 decibels. Lower it to like 6%. Oh, I had to go. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Is that... Let me know if that's a little bit better. Um, all right, let's see. Um, I'm gonna make art for you. Okay, if anybody wants this, a lot of you were saying, can we send you fan art? You can send it to us on the um, Discord. Discord. You can tag us if you post it on social media. There is a PO box. Um, you can send it to us if you want to send it to us directly. That's listed on our website. Um, Chloe, start in the Art Hacks playlist. There are a lot of tips there to start out with um and you can see those um let's see oh wow um i know you know says hey scott i'm very 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 happy to inform you that your amazing film animal crackers has appeared on one of our most popular kids tv channels in egypt mbc3 wow. they always have a film appear on the weekend oh that's wonderful that's fantastic news thank you I haven't seen the rules channel open in like a week. Okay. So the rules channel is open. Um, it's open for short periods of time. Um, usually once or twice a day. Um, and you can um, check back and find out then. Um, you can agree to the rules and then go from there. Um, let's see. Um, okay, the best of anything is incredibly subjective. Um, I do believe you are going to do the wet the paper again, correct? Because since this is hot press paper. If I remember, yeah. Um, I didn't remember see. last time. I know, Lily. It's because there are a lot of questions every live, and it always amazes me every time that you guys want to be here with us and that there's so many of you that want to be here. It kind of cracks me up. Um, Scott started drawing when he was about six or seven. With that paper, have you ever tried anything turned 90 degrees where it's long wise? Not yet, no. I would, you know, I would do that probably for a, uh, like a landscape or something. 
Um, all right, there is a video on art block in the art hacks playlist. Start there, that should help you. Um, is this the Spider-Man soundtrack? No, this is actually Bullet Train, the Brad um, Pitt movie. Are you guys, um, how's the music? We turned it down. Let us know how that is. Um, There's a link um, in the description of, of uh, the videos when we're done. Uh, yeah. So you guys, if you guys ever want to go and listen to it, mm -hmm. there's links to like Spotify or Apple Music mm -hmm. or whatever. Because Sony's um, the one that's done it, so we're... Um, they're, they're donating they're, it. Correct. They're being very gracious and letting us use this music. And so we are, um, we are very happy and grateful for that. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, favorite genre of music? Obviously, clearly 80s. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't listen to 80s all the time. I'm not like stuck in the 80s. Um, I am. Yeah, you are. I, I, uh, I like some newer music, but... Camera is... Is anybody else having problems with their camera being blurry? Was it blurry? I don't know. One person said it was blurry. Let me... You guys, let me know two things. One, is the music level okay? And two, is the... It's not blurry here. Somebody might have a problem with it. It's not blurry. I'm mm -hmm. looking at it. Let me do this and see if I can... Maybe it's a little dirty. Maybe you need to wipe it off. Maybe you touch the lens or something. Okay. Yeah, look, that's what I'm saying. It looks fine to me, but... Okay. Um... All right, so. Here, I will wipe it off just in case. Uh, the music is fine. It's great. It's not blurry. It's okay. The music is okay. The camera is not blurry. Okay. Not blurry, no blur for me. Thanks, guys. Can't hear the music. Well, if we turn it up too high, um, it's being distracting. I can't hear any music. Not blurry. The camera is fine. They probably need to change their settings. Okay. Looks okay to me. Um. All right, okay, so music is good and the camera looks good. Fantastic. Nixia says, not a fan of the music, to be honest, I'm finding it very distracting. I'm sorry. Um, well, um, I mean, we can always go back to the, just the, the silence, or do you guys want me to lower it a little more? Okay. Um, Let's see. I'll be honest, all of the mods are hating the music. Yes, there has been a lot of side chat about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we don't, we absolutely don't have to do it. Yeah, duly noted. We're just, we're trying something. It's an experiment. Yeah. Um, okay, the pen that Scott's using is a zebra brush pen. Um, I don't know that you have a favorite comic book right now, do you? Current comic book? No, no. I mean, I, I have a ton of ones I love. Name some of your favorite art YouTubers. Uh, Sam does art, uh, James Gurney, um, mm -hmm. Rishi draws, uh, gosh. We did visit the Nashville Zoo last week. We got to meet Charlie. Tim Diaz home. He is a prehensile tailed porcupine. Yes. And that and I... video is forthcoming. And let me tell you something. He is so cute. So cute. And literally almost kissed me on the nose. So cute. Yeah. Can't stand it. Um, all right. What are y'all's favorite famous art pieces? Uh, I don't know how famous it is, but my favorite art piece is Spring by Sir Lawrence Almatadima. Um, mine is Wanderer over a Sea of Fog and Casper von Friedrich. Casper David Friedrich. Um, so there you go. Um, 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 okay. How and why did you want to draw when you started drawing? Um, I just kind of picked it up and started copying, um, Spider-Man. I just, I, I had the comics 
and I was a really big fan of the cartoon and and it just kind of became a thing and then I wanted to be the artist on Spider-Man. Um, Scott can get the sketch down so quickly because practice. And I'm using a photo reference. I'm not doing anything mm -hmm. to it. So I'm not really using yeah. a lot of imagination or really any imagination. So all of the work that I'm doing to make it mine is in the technique and not in the planning stage. It's not like the, um, the gothic vampire painting mm -hmm. where that was a lot of planning and a lot of thought went into it and it took me a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you talk really quickly about the art supplies you're using right now. Talk about the pad of paper, talk about the pen, and talk about the pencil you used because a lot of people are asking. Hmm, okay. Um, this is uh, Arches. Can you turn it so we can see it and read it? There you go. Yeah, Arches uh, 3.9 by 9.8 mm -hmm. inch this is hot, hot press. This is hot press paper. I now. also have cold press. And the difference is, as you can see, is the texture mm -hmm. is a lot rougher, which I, I like for watercolor, but not so much for the pen. So uh, I'm kind of working with that. And then this is my zebra brush pen, mm -hmm. which is waterproof. So I could do all of my inking and um, paint over it. Any suggestions that you post in for people that um, you want Scott to draw, he will not see here. So you need to um, put those in when this Leave becomes- Leave it in the comment, yeah, for the- Right, when this becomes a video, um, put it there. Um, Scott, do you like to read? Not, not really. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I've never been one to be able to focus long enough on that. I do like audiobooks. You are watching Scott's technique for hair right now. So here, I'll show you what I'm doing with the hair. Um, Yvette says, I can't believe I'm actually in a live session. I'm in tears. You're <laughs> cute. So, oh, G. Finch says, I love Casper David Friedrich. Aw, yay. If you look, so what I'm doing is I'm finding the highlights mm -hmm. and I'm going from dark to light and I'm leaving the highlights. And that's what I'm doing is I'm just finding those, those rows of highlights for the curls. And so this mm. is going to be a highlight. And so I am... Have you done an art collab with Sam Does Art? Um, we've both done videos you know, with each other or, you know, about each other, but um, we are going to do an art collab. He's just been very busy. Um, but uh, as soon as he is free, I will, we will do an art collab, which okay. should be fun. You didn't talk about what pencil you used and you didn't talk about the pen. I did talk about it. I said the zebra brush pen. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. The pencil right. is just a 4H pencil. Okay. Um, Scott and Dawn, I'm checking out Teddy Bear Dreams at my library. It looks so cute. Aw, oh, thank great you. That they have one. Oh, you know what? Lula says, I think the music is fine, but I'm not using headphones. Maybe that makes a difference. Maybe people who are using headphones, maybe that's different. Um, are you planning to watch the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? Yeah, yeah. When it comes on to, um, Wherever it's going to be, whatever streaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks cute. that's more of a streaming kind of guy. Um, the Great Gatsby is, yes, definitely a great book to read. Um, well, if you're talking good books, read The Hobbit. Yeah, The Hobbit is very good. Well, maybe the, perhaps they've already read The Hobbit. Um, tips for people who are struggling to stay into art, a.k.a. me. Um, try journaling. You know, that it, it's it's uh, something that you could do just for you. And, you know, you just kind of sketch where you're at, what you're doing. I find that that's something that anybody can do. And you don't have to go, oh, I have to create a masterpiece. You're just kind of creating something just for you. Um, Scott did animation years ago. He's not going to probably go back to animation. Yeah. Okay, this pen, the zebra brush pen, we buy it on jetpens.com. J-E-T-P-E-N-S.com. All of Scott's art supplies that he uses, you can find in his, the resources page on our website, and it is the art supply list. Um, 
hey mods can somebody put the link to the scott's art supplies in because a lot of people are asking which celebrities do you think are hard to draw i would say the celebrities that are going to be harder to draw are the ones that um have very homogenous features like say um What's, who played Barbie? I don't know. Bar, uh, Margot Robbie? Yes, there you um, go. Or like a Nicole Kidman or something like that. Um, they're they're going to be harder because there's nothing distinguishing. Whereas if you get someone like um, like an Alan Rickman or, a, or an Ian McKellen who... Hold on. Sorry, Mr. Clock wanted to say hi. But if you get someone like that um, who has a very unique face, those are definitely so much easier to capture because, you know, they're, they're, they're distinguishable. Um, someone with, uh, like Mr. T, you guys probably don't even remember Mr. T, but someone with very distinguishable hair or nose or eyes or whatever, it makes it much easier to draw than someone who has very, you know, generic or, or quote unquote perfect features. Um, okay. So hello guys. I'm new in this live and this channel. And I want to ask which type of paint you like. I like watercolor paints, Windsor and Newton. Mm -hmm. Those are in the, um, art supply list. Oh, thanks, Emma. Emma posted the link to the art supplies. You can see all of the supplies that Scott uses there. Um, <clears throat> Losses, to be honest, I've always been insecure about my art. You've inspired me to keep going and I'm forever grateful. Oh, my pleasure. I think that's just um, the bane of an artist's existence is to be self-conscious because we mm. see the genius of our predecessors and and our contemporaries and we say I, I i there's no way i can compete with that um but we got to keep making art because somewhere somebody or even just us might benefit from it you know um you cannot use the discord until you get a role that's how that works you have to agree to the rules, which are just basically be nice. And um, once you do that, um, you can access the channels in the server. We have not seen the Barbie movie. Um, let's see. I read The Hobbit, discovered a love for J.R.R. Tolkien. Awesome. A good base to use if you want um, to make many many paintings it doesn't seem feasible to just use a canvas all the time i i don't use canvas i always use paper it it depends on what medium you're using yeah but i mean even if you're using oil they do have oil pads right um we we learned that yeah Autumn says, I bought a gothic vampire poster. So excited. Do you oh, think thank you. I would be able to use Dorland's cold wax to change the sheen of the paper. What did you use to sign your name? He's still working on that. Um, we actually have a test poster he's doing and he is trying different things um, yeah, uh, to figure out how to sign it best. Yeah, I didn't like the, um, the silver Sharpie. That's a Uniball Signo, and that is a Posca pen. But the Posca pen took really long to dry. Mm -hmm. So I think I might do uh, the Uniballs. And Donna has a whole bunch of different colors. Mm -hmm. I but give, so I basically, give this So here's a funny story. So um, we didn't know how many we would sell of mm -hmm. those posters. Donna bought 50 tubes, um, tubes so we could <laughs> ship them out. Because I thought, oh, 50 is a lot of tubes. Tubes. As of as of this morning, we sold a thousand. Yeah. 
<laughs> so thank you all. Um, so guess what? Donna ordered more tubes Donna yesterday. Donna ordered more They'll tubes. They'll be here later this week. I'm ordering more prints. <laughs> yeah. And just in case. Yeah. So yeah, it's a little crazy, you guys. We didn't think you we liked the poster that much. We were not expecting you all much. to buy <laughs> that many. Um, yeah. I'm going to be signing uh, this week, uh, all of them. You and are. I'm going to be giving you ice and Advil for your sore hands since you'll be signing them all. But thank you all. Yeah, um, thanks for... It really for, means the world to us. Yeah, it was. it's funny. It just, we, we didn't... Bethany keeps saying, you know, how cool is it that something that you want to do for yourself yeah. is something that people want to yeah. have a piece of, which is nice. Yeah, it's pretty neato. Um, let's see. <coughs> do you use guidelines? I always struggle when drawing faces. Uh, yeah, you can still see them. Yeah, here's the center line. Mm -hmm. um, I'll you know do the. Um, I'll erase all of my guidelines mm -hmm. when I am. Dalton really loved your version of um, Gustave Courbet's "The Desperate Man for Studying the Masters." Oh yeah, that was a fun one. We had so much fun with sixty days of studying the masters. I miss that. I wish that we could do that some more. Yeah. Um, can one of the mods put my YouTube channel in for Spark Art? They're asking my YouTube channel. Um, Scott does not like to draw himself, but he's done it once. We have not seen the Barbie movie. Um, what gouache do you use, honey? I use Winsor & Newton as well. Um, All right. I see. think we are done. <laughs> I'm sub to jet pens. You know what? If you get jet pens, um, emails, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. Hey, honey, can you do me a favor? What do you need, babe? Yes, I can get you water. Absolutely. Um, let me find a good question for you. What is something that you hate to draw? That's an easy one. Hands. What cheap art supplies would you recommend? Yeah, I'll look at water. I would recommend a paper and pencil. Also, talk about like, like people finding their own medium, you know? Okay. Just get good at drawing. That's really the most important thing. That's the basis. That's the foundation for your art is getting good at drawing. I've seen a lot of people who take a painting class and they get discouraged because, you know, they don't know how to draw. And I really think the best thing you could do is um, draw every day, draw everything and get good at that and that will help you. So really all you need right now is pencil and paper. Boys and girls, I have returned with water for the paint. Thank you. You go, love. You got it? Yep. I have to give me a kiss. Love you. Okay. Ooh, ugh. There we go. I am now sitting back in the chair. Oh, I found you with studying the masters. That's when I subbed. That's autumn. I, that was my favorite thing that we've done. I know there's so many people are like, oh, I love the music stuff. I love this. I love that. I adored learning about all the other masters. There was, it's, yeah, it's just doing, doing something that uh, is educational for us as well. Yeah. You know, and we, we really liked learning about, cause a lot of you suggested people, mm -hmm. you know, and, suggested artists that we'd never heard of. Yeah. We did, we did, um, uh, Ravi Ramavarna from who's an Indian. Or I prop Ravi. Yeah, I probably butchered that. But an Indian painter. We've did Italian painters. We've done um, Native American, Indigenous yeah. people. We did an Indigenous painter. I just so cool to learn um, about all these things. Have you tried Sarah Clark's new journal yet? No, I have not. Spark Art. Let me look that up. Let me write that down. Um, no, I have heard of um, this morning. Um, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about some new journals and I was driving the car, so I didn't get a chance to write them down. All right, I need you to but mute me. Mute you. Yeah. Shoot, honey. Just click on the picture on the video. Oh, OK. And then I'm the video one, the video You're one. You're this one. Yeah. Mute you. Okay, go ahead. All right, blow dry. All right, sorry. Um. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's let me blow through a couple of questions here. I won't unmute you. Um, no, I'm gonna answer these. You just paint for a second. Um, okay, so the posters are fifteen dollars. The shipping is included um, for USA. For US, but outside of the country, I know that that is a difficult thing for people. I can't do anything about the prices of the shipping. And I know it's difficult for a lot of people to be able to um, afford, you know, the shipping prices, but... That's why we we priced it so low, was to kind did. of help compensate. So yeah, it's we did. really... And we're sorry, but that's the only way that, I mean, we can't do free shipping for a thousand orders. There's no way I can afford that. I mean, I'm not... You know, I mean, I just, I can't. We have to pay for the printing and the poster tubes and everything else and all of that. And so I know shipping sometimes is a little um, difficult and I know it's difficult for people overseas. Um, and all I can do is apologize, but I don't mark up my shipping. I don't add any handling fees. I don't add anything else. And it will take me, um, Bethany Primrose has been kind enough to say she'll come over and help me. Um, and I'm not paying her. She's coming we'll over drive. because she's my friend and helping me ship things. Go ahead. So um, I hope that you guys understand that the shipping, um, it's a thing. So, and it's a thing I can't control. So. Um, they want to know if you can. They want to know if you can sign posters on the live. Um, I mean, we could. I, 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 it might get a little boring, but happy to. Um, cheap art supplies varies from country to country, so you can see what Scott uses, and he does not use. Some of the things he uses are expensive, and some of them are not. But there's also a page of art supplies we've tried that are more reasonably priced. Yeah, you, I, I've tried some really cheap stuff like mm -hmm. Crayola and yeah. uh, Hemi gouache and things like that. Yep. And you can see all of that and the videos of what I thought of them and everything. Yeah. Um, we're doing a drawing series right now. We're doing the 80s music people. Um, let's see. Um what is a piece of art that you keep very close to your heart? Hmm. Probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. It just, a, a lot happened during that time and I mm -hmm. taught myself how to paint with gouache just for that poster. And you know, it was my, my first movie poster and my first movie. Ooh, don't get in trouble, Kermito, for having us on during class. Um. Yeah, Scott has done cartoony type drawings. Not his favorite thing to do. Um, are there any good small sketchbooks for mixed media? Um, yeah, Be Creative had one. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Ohuhu had one. Uh, yeah, I think maybe Strathmore. Blow dryer. Hold on. Go ahead. Okay. Um, oh, let me unmute you. Um, I can't find the zebra prints. I use the Sakura Pigma brush pens. Yep, those are great. Oh, Jamie Brown's here. Hi, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Um, all right. I'm going to try something to try to get a little more 
You, Sage says, you probably won't see this. Ha ha, we did. But you're a huge inspiration to me, and I'm a young artist. You've inspired me to do more art. Oh, thank you. Um, well, thanks for understanding about the shipping. We're trying our best. Um, do you know when they will ship out? Well, considering there's two people, and there's a thousand of you and that we only have, have ordered, 50 tubes right now, so... I'm um, waiting yeah. for the remaining tubes to come in, and we're going to start shipping on Wednesday. And we are just going to go down the list of orders as quickly as we possibly can. But there will only be four hands working on it and Scott will be signing. So it could take a while to get them out. I'm anticipating not more than a week to a week and a half to get them into the mail. And then also, it depends on the mail. Also, to get we, we want to let you um, know that um, every... Every time we do something like this, we will get shipments back. So please make sure your address is correct. Like we just oh, thank you. We just got a uh, note of we just got a painting back that one of the Spider Verse ones. Yep. That we had sent out to someone as a yep. gift, and we and paid, it was an overseas one. Was, yeah, and we paid what twenty something thirty something dollars for shipping, mm -hmm. and then it came back. Yep. And and so yep. that's you know, frustrating to me that I'm sending you something for free and I paid. Thirty-five dollars for shipping, yeah. and it comes back to me, and so that's very frustrating. Make sure that your address is yeah. correct. That is the only thing we ask: is that if you are going to do make an order or sign up for, go, I, I muted you. If you're going to sign up for a drawing or something else like that, please make sure your address is correct. Because if I get it back, it makes me very cranky, and costs more money. So. Girls here. Not yet, but you are All now. right, so um, I'm trying something different with this one. Um, as, as you guys know, I, I've been doing kind of the same thing. So I'll do two layers of the Windsor Orange, two layers of the Rose Matter, the pink, mm -hmm. and then purple. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to, for people of color, add one layer of burnt sienna. And oh. so this is the first time I've done it because what I've been doing is I'll do these layers and then I'll go over it with the burnt sienna and then that'll blend mm -hmm. the thing. So I'm going to just see how this looks and then I'm going to go over now with the rose matter. Hmm. So I don't know if this will look good, but I wanted to try it because I want to, I, I feel like I've come up with a good technique for Caucasian skin, mm -hmm. but I want to come up with a better technique for people, people of color. color. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Okay. Yes, Scott has tried sculpting, um, but um, he would like to try it more. Um, let's see. How do you make sketchbooks more interesting? Um, come up with a theme. That's that's yeah. You know whether it's like a Harry Potter theme or a. Uh, you know, 80s music theme or or mm -hmm. turn it into a journal. Mm -hmm. Journals are fun, like a travel journal or a, yeah. a date, your day-to-day -day journal. This is my day-to-day -day journal. Today I went to lunch with a friend and I drew a salt shaker. Yeah. You know? Um, do you know any beginner-friendly sketchbooks? Oh, gosh. Um, I know Blick has a lot of them, you know? Uh, yeah. But basically anything... Mm -hmm. Just you can get the cheapest ones. And you should well, apply. if they're going to just use pencil, they can get the cheapest ones. If you're going to yeah. use watercolor, you need to get one that's friendly for watercolor. Wait a minute. Let me mute you. Go ahead. Um, okay. We will talk about a live signing. Um, we will talk about that. Admiral Diamond, there are videos in the Art Hacks playlist about drawing hair. Um, okay. Um, Biralina, we had a company that did print on demand and their shipping was atrocious. 
and it was very, very difficult. Um, people got things that were bent or torn, tubes were open, things were missed. Um, so I don't want to use print on demand. Um, and they charge the same exact prices for, you know, um, mailing things because it's not whether or not your, your, you know, the price is there. It, it's one standard price. And I'm not as big as like an Amazon or another company where I can get a bulk shipping discount. I'm a small business and we don't get bulk shipping. And so I know it's difficult and I know the prices are high and the only thing I can do is apologize. So, um, there we go. Um, when did Scott find his love for drawing hair? Oh gosh. When he lost his. <laughs> but I'm bumped. Plug yes, art. I'm here all day. Um, Santa is here. Hey, Santa. And says, happy Monday. Best wishes, everyone. Shout out to the amazing mods. Yes. Thank you, Santa. Totally shout out to the amazing mods. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. We were good. I could not do this without them, let me tell you. Um, okay. Molly, you are not being rude. Um, Molly asked if we support LGBTQ and the furry people and another one that I hadn't even heard of before. Um, Ther Therians? Theron? Therians? Therians? I, that's what she asked. I, I don't even know who that, what that is. It's not thespians? No, it doesn't say thespians. It was like literally Therians. So. Uh, we've never heard of Therians before, so I don't want to say that I support something I've never heard of. Right. But we definitely support the LGBTQ mm -hmm. and furries and... Anybody who just wants to live their life and, and be happy in their own skin. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's, you know, that's, I think, everything as that... As long as you're nice to other people, I think that's the big thing. If you're nice to other people and you just live in your life isn't hurting anybody because it isn't. So, um, yeah, you're more than welcome here. We'd love to have you here. And, um, yeah, and that's that. If you're mean... I'll kick you out because that's the kind of mom I am because we don't want mean people. But if everybody's nice, we're good. Um, Scott's favorite thing to draw, favorite person to draw is me. Right, honey? Always. There you go. Um, uh, Rain says, I love the theme and journal idea. Scott has done digital art before. You can check that out. Um, how do you take a live and turn it into a short? Oh, I'm recording on an iPhone, in, you know, vertically. Uh, I'm recording the entire thing. So that way I can zoom in because I'm recording it at 4K. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I could just grab little two second clips. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Steph Nerd. A Therian is someone who identifies as a non-human earthen animal, either spiritually or psychologically. Again, so long as that is somebody who is not putting their, you know, forcing their, their beliefs on other people, we are totally okay with that. Yeah, you do you. As long as they're not harming anybody, we are totally okay with that. Yeah. Basically, just be nice. I mean, just be nice to other people. Live your life. Be nice and, and be you. Exactly. Be unapologetically you, but just be nice. Um, there is a PO box on our website. If you would like to mail us a piece of art. Oh, trust me. I don't have to force Scott to draw me. He has drawn me so many times. 
it's ridiculous. I mean, just like less than a month ago, he asked me like for the gothic vampire, can you put your hands like this? And I'm like, what? So he could draw hands. Yes, we shipped to Canada. Uh, Mr. Scott, how do you find a good color palette? Um, I, I used, you know, the colors that I had and until I kind of weaned it down to the ones that I liked the most. You'll find that you wind up using certain colors more. Um, but you got to start off with something and then go, mm -hmm. oh, God, I really would like this color. I really want something that's in between this color and that color. And then you go get it. I don't mix my colors, if you notice. Mm -mm. I layer. I layer them. So speaking of which, blow dryer. Mm. Dude, you can't do that to me when I'm drinking tea. Um, okay. For all of you who are asking, and I love you for asking, Scott does not know what he's going to do tomorrow or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. Um, he will literally pick it at the last minute. Like he picked Irene Cara this morning. So, um... There really isn't a plan except, hey, guess what? We're doing the alphabet in, for 80s music. Um, let's see. Um, have you ever lost? A, I don't know what you're asking for that one. Have you lost a useful item to paint? Um, like paint killed my this item? I don't know. Oh. We almost had an ink episode where you um, spilt ink all over everywhere. Have you ever worked with kids? If yes, what activities did you do to get them to be artsy? Um, no, no. I mean, even my own kids didn't want to make art with me. Mm -hmm. They did not. Um, check out Sweet Shake. Check out the Art Hacks playlist for tips on drawing noses and hair and eyes and faces and... Um, all this. Um, Shridevi thanks you for inspiring them and wants to know how do you get inspired? I get inspired by other artists too. So I, I look at other people's art and I go, gosh, I want to try that. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I had a little bit of Brian. Ryan says, it. Scott, as someone who that is also follically challenged, I feel your pain. <laughs> You're so cute. Don't know what you got till it's gone. Um, I paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Um, anyway, yes, I'm here all week. Thank you. I will be singing all week. Um, uh, what's your favorite genre of movies? Um, science fiction or fantasy. Um, why are you so awesome? <laughs> I'm not, but if I am in any way awesome, it's because of my wife. Oh, points on a Monday for the hubby. Very nicely done and very smooth. I'm afraid to ask this question. I'm actually terrified to ask this question. Favorite dad joke? Oh, God, no, I don't have, like, favorites. Oh, you've got a bazillion I, I of do, them. but they just kind of come to you. You don't just, like, I don't have them you know like lined up or anything like that though though i think the favorite one that we that we did and it was both donna and me um was when uh when the kids were small no oh! we, we told them that uh <laughs> the brown cows made chocolate milk yeah. and the ones with white cows made regular milk and they believed us for many they years they believed us for so long <laughs> and then they were like Really? Of course. <laughs> Blow dryer. We were terrible. We were terrible parents. Go ahead. Oh God. Um. Uh, so funny. Guys, what did I just join? Well, we're cracking each other up here. Um, Ryan says, ha, ha, ha. We also tell our kids that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. Right? It's classic. Nixie says, I told the girls the ice cream truck only plays music when he's out of ice cream. <laughs> that's fantastic. <coughs> oh, my God. That's great. 
One Up Girl says, that's too funny. I believed that when I was little, too. Oh, gosh. I did the chocolate cow thing with my kids, and then they started asking about the pink cows or strawberry milk, and I had no explanation. You know, our boys never asked that question. Um, easy ask. We just lost our dog three months ago. Um, so, yeah, we, we had a baby girl. She was the sweetest dog in the history of ever. And, um, yeah, she was my baby. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, Britt says um, it. She finds it hard. They find it hard to make art when feeling discouraged. Um, sun side up. We do not do art classes, but Scott has a bazillion videos, and you are welcome to use those um, for your own. Go ahead, for your own uh, thing. Um, Scott doesn't really use too much Pinterest anymore for his um, photo reference. There's actually a video um, on how in our thing on how he finds his photo references. Um, so, um, you can check that out and that will help you. All right. I am actually. Where did you guys say scared. again? We can ask for future people. Oh, when the video that we're doing right now, when this becomes a video, um, you can put your comments there. Um, on who you want Scott to do. And Britt, I'm sorry that your husband and kids are not supportive. Sometimes that is very hard. Um, how do you get motivated to practice every day and how do you get inspired? Um, you know, there's, um, I always say, you know that, that uh, song from Hamilton, why is he always writing like he's running out of time? Mm -hmm. There's just this little internal clock that I have that's kind of going, you know, you're this old and you got it, you know, like you only got so many days. Don't waste any days. And yeah, so he literally wakes up in the morning wondering. Yeah. So I, I just don't like to waste every day's a gift. I mm -hmm. just don't want to waste it. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want to look back and think, ah, if only. And mm -hmm. so I try not to do that with my life. I always try to. Like, I can't control circumstances. I can't control, you know, whether we make another movie or not, or whether my YouTube channel is going to be successful or not. Mm -hmm. But I can control what I do with the opportunities that are given to me. And so that's that's what I do. Is, is That's my motivation is I'm only going to be this old once. Mm -hmm. And what am I doing with that time? Mm -hmm. So I think it's yeah. kind of like a a little gift I give to my future self. It's the same mm -hmm. thing as like working out, you know? Yeah. It's like, you know, I'm I'm doing this so that way future me isn't going to be in pain when he's older, you know? Yeah. And yeah. I think I think that's good. You you really got to start thinking long term. Mhm. Mm yeah. All right, so I want to talk real quick about um what I, I want to show you so if you look at this picture you could see that this is her natural skin tone mm -hmm. but she's got a lot of makeup on for the photograph right mm -hmm. and so for me it's like initially her i you know like this part i added a little later to try to just bring some more color because it was really light because of the, the makeup. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just wondering what people's thoughts are on when you're doing a portrait of somebody, if, if they had a lot of makeup, do you compensate? And because the makeup seems like it's there for blemishes, to get rid of shine, et cetera, et cetera. But it's to create this was the a, 80s and, and of, they, of, they it's yeah, to cre you know, but to they didn't, they didn't, out. they didn't do a good job of matching her skin color and they probably didn't have those colors back then now they've it's, got they do a little bit better job and no now they do a lot better job yeah it, it's you're right they didn't have a lot of makeup back then that was specifically for people for with darker people skin. with different colored skin correct yeah. and now they've done a much better job so 
as artists, do we compensate? Do we, you know, copy it? Do mm. we whatever? Because mm-hmm. that's what I'm I'm struggling with right now is I'm looking at this going, I should, you know, try to make this a little darker. Or should I do this? Should I do that? And and so these are the the things that are going on. And I just want you always to know what's going on in my head. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can see that, you know, we're always trying to improve. We're always second guessing ourselves. Um, I've done thousands, tens of thousands of portraits Mm -hmm. and I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to adjust and Mm -hmm. be more inclusive and try to get skin colors right and to try to, you know, so I want her skin color to look different than his skin color, Mm -hmm. you know, and so I'm, I'm trying to, you know, like um, Mm -hmm. Slash is half black. And so I added a little bit of burnt sienna to his skin, but it's a it's a little darker. Mm-hmm. But it's you know he's also got five o'clock shadow and he's got a hat and everything else on, so you really can't see. But these are the things that I'm trying to do because I feel like when I paint in gouache, I can paint all skin colors because I paint differently. I'm mixing paints. Right, right, right. But when I'm painting in watercolor, I'm doing these layers. Yeah. And. Um, and I like this as a style, but I haven't really developed one for people with darker skin. Mm-hmm. And so that's that's what I'm working on. Okay, it's 10.35, just so you know. Yeah, but we started half an hour later. I understand that. I'm just giving you a time frame. Thank you. No, I, I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to clean it up. Okay, you're good. Um, yes, you are happy to use some of Scott's art as a reference. We are totally fine with that. Nixie says it worked well one day until he pulled over in front of the house to make a phone call and turn the music off. They got ice cream that day. They called my bluff. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, my tea is the Herod's tea, and I'm on my third. I'm at the end of the third cup, which is really sad because I'm looking at the bottom of the cup. Um, thank you um, about the dog. Appreciate that. I feel you, Sienna, has lost a cat last month and have yet to go out and see his grave. Do you have anything that may help me? <sighs> you can say no if you Sienna, don't. Sienna, I wish I did. I wish I did. I wake up every morning. I look in the same spots that Arwen used to sleep. And I miss her. I miss her every single day. I wish I had something for you. I, um... Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I wish I could give you a hug and tell you it was going to be better, but I just, uh, it's been three months and I, I don't know what to tell you. I have her ashes here with us at home on the um, shelf in my office with me and I go over and I kiss my hand and I touch the box every day. So I don't know that it ever gets easier. Mm. Is it okay not to want to show your art to others because you're scared of judgment, etc.? Um, I mean, look, it, it's it's not like it's bad like you know you're doing something wrong but it's it's definitely something you need to get past because mm-hmm. honestly you should not worry what and and, as, and look as an Easier artist and as done. a human being mm-hmm. we're always yep. going to factor in what other people say no one wants to doesn't care we always feel it. even if it's a you know a little bit it's just a matter of how much some some can can it, they only feel it a little bit others feel it very intensely but you will have to start accepting your art for where it is on your journey mm-hmm. your art right now isn't the best it's going to be you just keep making art be okay to show people your journey you're not saying this is the best i'll ever do Mm-mm. you know and you're, you're this is where i am on my journey mm-hmm. and and i think that's okay and you just need to to be okay with that yeah yeah I think everybody needs to cut themselves a little more slack, not just in your art journey, but in life. You know, as long as you're doing the best that you can and you're being nice to other people, then, you know, you're hmm. you're going to get there. You're going to have ups and downs and <clears throat> all sorts of different things. Yeah. Um, let's see. I married Scott 30 years ago. Um, so long time. Any tips for people going to junior school that have upcoming work? Danny would like to know. Um, uh, upcoming work? 
Yeah. I don't know what kind of upcoming work you're... Well, they're going to junior school. So... Um... I, I'm sorry. I'm not. Yeah, give us a little more info on that. Are you taking art in school? Are you doing other stuff? Um, Catch Mac Knight says, why not try to start with light browns or light reds, then yellows to make the skin tones a bit different? Yeah, um, watercolors work light to dark um, so that you have to layer them the lightest colors first. So I have to start with the, with the, the Windsor orange, that yellow, and then technically the uh pink is lighter than the um the burnt sienna but uh i if i water it down enough i can at least give a little bit and i and i think that's that's the thing i just need to keep practicing with and experimenting with and the funny thing is i do them on full on you know illustrations while i'm live i'm not like sitting here going i wonder if this and i wonder if that you know just trying them on a scratch piece of paper which i should but i just never think about it and i just don't have the time otherwise and so i'm doing it live okay do you struggle with backgrounds or anatomy yeah, I mean, I struggle with everything. I mean, like I said, if you look, I'm doing, uh, I'm struggling with, I struggle with my likenesses. I struggle with, um, how beautiful your wife is. I just, I can't. I know. I just can't even. I know. I know. Sorry, hon. I can't help it. I can't tone down the gorgeous. I can't. I just, I just exude She's it. It's just too good to be true. <laughs> How do you decide the background color of your alphabet series? Um, sometimes I do the eye color. Sometimes I do the lipstick color. Um, <laughs> You're so cute. Oh. Sorry guys, he's cracking me up this morning. But you know, a lot of times I'll just do it based on what colors I haven't used yet. Uh, let's see. Um, is there ever a time you feel like your art isn't really getting better the more you try to fix the piece and how do you deal with that? Oh yeah, all the time. Um, the way that I dealt with it past tense was I stopped using that medium. I was doing colored pencils and I just felt like I, I'm not improving in any way. So mm -hmm. I literally took 10 years off. I just did uh, my 3D comic, the, the Dreamland Chronicles. I did Spider-Man. Um, I wrote books, I did mm -hmm. other things, and then I missed making art. I tried colored pencils again, I went, nope, I still don't like this. Mm -hmm. And so I went and <clears throat> I taught myself watercolors. And then after a while I felt like, okay, I don't feel like I'm really growing at all. So I went and I taught myself gouache. Yeah. Um, have you tried the Sakura? De Corizi white pen. All my artist friends swear by it, but I also fall back to what I'm used to. Um, I might have. I don't remember the ones that didn't make the cut. I just, I remember trying a whole bunch of different uh, pens and going, I like the zebra brush pen the best. Uh, and for me, it was, you know, there's there's the fact that it's 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 waterproof, but also the fact that. Um, I like how stiff the, the tip is. It, it wasn't, because there were some pens that were really soft, like mm -hmm. a brush, like a paintbrush. And I didn't like that. Um, let's see. Our new puppy is really making us miss our old dog. Yeah, I get that. Um, let's see. Well, I think this is as close as I'm going to get. Let okay. me... Um. In art, you're never in your prime. You'll always be a student that has something new and interesting to learn to improve your art. Yeah. What do you guys think? No. Oh, I think it looks good. Did I capture her okay? Kara says, I'm so sorry. We lost our dog back in 2010 when my daughter was three, and her and I still miss him, and we put his ashes under the Christmas tree every year because he would always lay there. No. That's so sweet. Um, yeah. Arwen loved to lay under the tree, too. 
Um, Wisnu is a hundred percent wood pulp watercolor sketchbook any good? I don't know that um, you've used a wood pulp sketchbook. Yeah, have I have. Um, oh, okay. Which one was wood pulp? I'm trying to remember, but I do remember using it, and it was okay. It was not like cotton. So I like if it's really cheap, go ahead and use it. But I mean, I wouldn't spend m- more Buku money money on it. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely not good. It's it's cheap paper. Do you still hate acrylics? Ah, uh, hate is a Strong, strong word. word. Not as much as I hate oil pastels. <laughs> <laughs> Any advice on getting your first art job? I'm struggling where to even start. I'm afraid of reaching out to others. That's Tori. Um, what kind of job? I mean, again, if it's an industry job like storyboards or character designs mm-hmm. or whatever, then um, you just got to keep working, uh, <clears throat> build up your portfolio and work towards that. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're saying art job like getting commissions or something, Really, that's that comes down to you being. Um, you're gonna have to find your own style. You're gonna have to find your own audience. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. There's a animals playlist. Thirty days of painting the national animals. That will give you some tips on that. Um, there's a video on how Scott finds his reference photos. You can check that out. Um. Scott's always trying to tell a story with his art. And if you see any of his videos, you can, you'll know that he tries to tell a story. Um, do you work on a tilted or a flat surface? Flat. And I'm standing too. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm done. What do you think of um, oil paint? I, I'm not really a fan. I want my stuff. I want to finish my painting now. I don't want to wait six months. There is music playing in the background. Yes. That is the, the, the soundtrack yeah. from Bullet Train sponsored mm-hmm. by like not that they paid us but i'm saying that they, they gave us the permission mm-hmm. to play music sony uh gave us some music so at least we just have something in the background mm-hmm. and please yes. tell us if you don't like it let if, us know. if you like the music if you don't like the music mm-hmm. right now our mods are saying they don't but um yeah okay so before we go i just want to say again thank you all for those who picked up the gothic vampire print mm-hmm. um we are going to get more shipping tubes and we'll be shipping yeah, those them out will, this those week. Those should be here by the end of the week uh, this week. I will be signing them. Donna gave me a whole bunch of Pens to try. signos that are... Oh, the, the gold is nice. Mm-hmm. Ooh, let's see. They got silver. Yeah. Blue would be really cool. Can you guys see this okay? Yeah. That blue does not work well. It does not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, we have no idea who's next. No idea. Uh, Bethany says, I hate this soundtrack, Hulk Smash. <laughs> yeah. We can't hear it, so... Um, yeah. All right, we will talk more. I'm trying to get this to just start working. It is a little dark. It might not look good. So let's try the green. Not a fan of the music. I love the music in the background. It's calming. When no one is talking, it shows through beautifully. Thanks for hanging out. It's been fun hanging out. I second Bethany. Ooh, copper is kind of cool. Pink. No, I don't think pink's going to work well on that, that thing. No. Well, anyways, so this is what I I'll like be doing. I like the gold or the silver or the copper. Yeah, I'll be doing this uh, a thousand times. A thousand times. Well, um, actually, technically, according to my email, it's way more than a thousand. Times. <laughs> well, um, uh, whoa. Yeah. Thank you again for for just supporting us in everything. Yeah. And um, if you can't afford them, we made them as cheap as humanly possible mm-hmm. if you can't afford them please don't feel in any way obligated um that's why i gave the the, the, the art away for free digitally mm-hmm. if you want to just print it out mm-hmm. um also you i've got the coloring page if you want to print uh-uh. that out and color it yourself copper or gold copper or gold the gold looks really good i love the print the gold is my favorite sorry thought okay. i'd let you know i might just use them all who knows i might have to um but (laughs) 
Thank you all. Have a wonderful. Thanks for letting us. Uh, thanks for waiting for us um, as we started a little yeah, late today. Yeah, thanks uh, for that. Too, and then guys. we will see you on Wednesday. So Wednesday yeah. will be. Let's see. This was I. So mm -hmm. Jay. Jay, yep. I'm leaning towards Journey. Oh yes, because because I mean hello. it's the '80s, but uh, you know there's Janet Jackson and mm -hmm. there's Joan Jett, and you know. So okay. we'll Nobody see. Nobody wants to sit here and listen to who, how you're going to think about this, really. Sorry. Mostly that's me that doesn't want to sit here and listen Bye. to this. Bye. All right, guys. We will talk to you on Wednesday. Thanks for being here. Have a marvelous Monday, you guys.